within this system of equations. I'm given the equations 3x minus 4y equals negative 5 and y equals 2 plus x. Based on the second equation, I know that y is the same thing as 2 plus x. So I'm going to go into the first equation and change y into 2 plus x. As noted in the presentation, it's beneficial at this point if we take the time to also change subtraction into adding the opposite. So in this instance, I'm actually going to make two changes in the first step here. So the first equation will now read 3x plus negative 4y equals negative 5. But y also needs to be changed into 2 plus x. So we'll actually read 3x plus negative 4 times, parentheses, 2 plus x, close parentheses, equals negative 5. This means, once again, we must use the distributive property distributing the negative 4. When we distribute the negative 4, the negative 4 carries through to both the 2 and the x. So I have negative 4 times 2, which is negative 8 and negative 4 times x, which is negative 4x. And the rest of the parts of the equation remain the same. 3x remains in the front. This addition sign drops down. The addition sign in the middle of the parentheses drops down, even though the parentheses are gone. And the equals negative 5 also drops down. Now we'll start simplifying the equation. The first thing I need to do are put the x terms together. 3x and negative 4x, ignoring the negative 8 temporarily. 3x and negative 4x add together make negative 1x. So the simplified expression is negative 1x plus negative 8 equals negative 5. When solving equations, we strongly desire to move constants or lonesome numbers to the right side of the equal sign, which means I'm going to need to move the negative 8 to the right side of the equal sign. As you can see, there's an addition sign in front of the negative 8. And of course, when I move something to the opposite side, I have to use the opposite operation. So I'm going to need to subtract negative 8 from both sides. We have learned throughout this year, however, that subtracting a negative is truly the same as adding. So what we're really doing is we're adding 8 to both sides of the equal sign. The simplified expression is thus negative 1x equals 3. So now I simply need to divide across by negative 1. And I obtain a value of x, which is negative 3. Now I'm going to return to the top of the problem and pick the shortest looking original equation. I'm going to choose y equals 2 plus x because it certainly looks shorter. I'm going to need to change x into negative 3. So y equals 2 plus x becomes y equals 2 plus negative 3. 2 plus negative 3 simplifies to make 1 and is thus the value of y. So we now have our solutions. We know that x equals negative 3 and y equals negative 1. Or we can state the solution as an ordered pair, negative 3 comma negative 1.